Get some! Get some! Hey, what seems to be the Hello? trouble? No! <laughs> Carl Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Good riddance. Now let's get Marcus Stipes. Uh huh? My current one has been on duty for way too long. I need security that's sharp and focused. We still haven't heard from him yet, but we know he's in the building. I'm sure he's just waiting for his uniform, and he'll be up soon. Well, get back to me when he is reported for duty. And remember to check his papers first. I don't need to waste my time with some newbie. I expect the best. I'll be sure to contact you as soon as he turns up. Papers vetted and all. Just get him up here, or I'll make a personal complaint to His Royal Highness. And you don't want that. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, we should be able to get within strangling distance of the little worm. Got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. gonna make me look really bad. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Don't you worry. A colleague is also out. They're looking. But this is awful. Reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. I am good. So at this. you don't call him anything. But officially, Must he's just known as codename on. Pinky. Sir, this is security. Just calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay. Wait here. He'll be here shortly. So, how are you finding Dubai? Uh, it's a gold mine for people in our trade. If you threw a rock, you'd hit a rich man in need of a bodyguard. Oh, you're lucky. His Royal Highness pays better than most. Yeah, you'd be surprised how stingy the rich can be, expecting you to take a bullet for them. It's just a job. Well, I guess that's one way of looking at it. But... Okay, you must be my new escort. This has been a dream of mine for I have very high standards, and trust you will do your duty. I am from one of the... You have your credentials on you? Yeah. Ah, this all looks very promising. But with a small yes. loan from my father. Good. I soon built oh. a construction empire. You worked for Darwood Rangan. Of the great Obi-Wan there on the day Rangan. of his tragic death. So, okay. So like looks very good. Come on, let's walk. I need to tell you a bit about what I expect from you. 
I expect you to be by my side 24-7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important, delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife, and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. With a knife? No. That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who would throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here, and I never want to see your face again. Let's just hope he's half as good as you were. Only time will tell. But I doubt it. You cocky idiot. Nice throw! That was quite spectacular. To do Thank with you all service. that power. I'll take the rest of the day off. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. It was an honor. Thank you, sir. You impressed me. You really did. But let's get to work. Some things you should know about me. This is very much on a need to know basis. I am here incognito. So I want you to stay close, but not too close. Especially when we are out in public. If you see a man with a bodyguard, it draws attention. Understood? Yeah, of course you do. Come on, follow me. Whoa! Oh. You got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. Personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zana Kazim. Sir? Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now, what is his business here? I understand that you can't enter without being searched. Standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood. Crystal.
Come on, no way! Hello. Sir, I will have to pat you down if you want to come through. Security measures. Yeah, it feels good, huh? Yeah, I bet it does there, cue ball. All right. Good job, sir. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Please, go in and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Hey, bud. Thank you. Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good. And won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider. You're done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner and brass bald billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come.
like to join me? If you insist. I used to own restaurants. A dozen or so. Michelin stars. If they didn't have at least two, I'd sell them. I only own the best. But then those pen... We got them, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. Mr. Luck, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. Oh, there, sir. Getting a bad feeling here. Where are you taking me? I'm sure we passed plenty of places where we could talk. Wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. All right, whatever it is, better be good. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Hey, how you doing? Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Right this way, Mr. Kazim. So, do you like the building? This has been His Royal Highness's dream. I think for even longer than I have known him. Everything here is completely self-sufficient. Electricity, internet, even water is cleaned and reused. It's the first of its kind on this scale. It was important for him to look to the future. Have you seen the view yet? It's quite spectacular. On a clear day, you get a wonderful view of the Arabian Desert. It's a sight to behold, the vastness of it. Back in China, this would never be possible because of all the smog. Here we are. Mr. Ingram is expecting you. Mr. Cassini. So good to see you. You have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. 
<laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. We have Ingram have right where we want him. Excuse me for a second. 47, so you know what to do. Have a drink, see the view. It's something to behold. We got him, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. And you need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. It's quite the view, don't you think? You almost feel like a god looking. We got them, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over.
try and breathe normally. I'm gonna go get someone to help. The alarm. You need to act fast before those bastards evacuate. Head for the helipad. Sorry, I'm gone now. You all right? Take it hey. easy. Get up. They've left the helipad. Their last chance is by parachute. Make sure that doesn't happen. Got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done. Hey, man. Yeah, I'm here now. It's all clear. M47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. We got him, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. Echo Fox to Uniform Zulu, over. This is making a lot of noise. You ought to do something. 